Man, this tornado is quite literally just going oh, right through oh the my town. God. That is a massive debris ball, dude. This is actually huge. 192, J. Killen. 195. 195? Oh, so, yep, we might actually get a uh, an EF5. Oh my gosh. Oh, All right, we need to go. Just the right buildings. We gotta get yeah, out of here right now. 196. Oh, sorry to get air. Oh no. my gosh. Hold Come on. on. Uh -oh. There was a uh, mobile home going rolled. flying. I'm on the bridge. Mobile home is going we, flying. Just north, get out of here. Yeah. back to another video today we are back in twisted continuing the storm chasing series and as many of you know i'm a big fan of twister now why not recreate it in the game so we've got one team that's in it for the money not the science and one that's in it for the research, trying to build a better warning system. So our two teams are going to go head to head, trying to get as many intercepts as possible. Of course, not with the vehicles, but with the tornado probes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so as you know, of course, I will be using the 1996 Dodge Ram here. Of course, we're going to have Dorothy in the back. And Jay Killen is using a probe truck, which looks similar to to this vehicle in the movie Twister. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now going over here, Tofu, what do we have on your team? All right, so for my vehicle, I'm using the probe truck, which Jesse will show on screen as reference here. And Ragu is using Doppler in place of the RV that's used on this team in the movie. Yep, so it's sort of mimicking both teams here. And we've also got some really good weather. So Jay Killen, I'll hand it off to you to explain what we've got today. Yeah, so the two biggest things, uh, we have a pretty high cape and pretty high SRH. And uh, just looking at the photograph, uh, it does look like we have like an Eastern moving type photograph and it has like a nice kind of arch veer back for the uh, zero to three kilometer range. And we also have some high lapse rates too, but we also have some low precipitation and hopefully that will give us a little bit more better visibility. All right, so thanks Jay Killen. And you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna wait here for a storm. And once we see one, we will uh, make our way there. And since the motion is gonna be easterly, that means it's probably gonna be from the west. So uh, yeah, we'll wait to see something in this direction. Now, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go inside and buy some chips because I am getting hungry. Me too. I can buy a, probably this entire store and like every like I can buy up like all Medellin's across Kisuda and have like still have like a couple million left over probably. Why would you want to buy something like this? Oh, please. <laughs> all, right, all right. It looks like we've got a storm. So, uh, Jay Killen, let's get going. Oh, man, we got to follow them. Right? We, we, we can't fall behind. All right. You're the boss. All right, so Jay Killen, what are we looking at for a direction to uh, sort of chase the storm? Uh, I'd say we could stick on this road and just kind of wait for it to come to us. Then we can go south or north or wherever direction we need to if we need to. All right, why don't we pull over on this gravel road right here and we'll just wait for the storm to uh, basically come to us. Let's take a look at the radar real quick. So you can see this is the storm that we are on at the moment. And uh, we are here, and we are about to see the other team pass us by. So there they are. All right, so this road goes all the way south. Jay Killen, do you want to head further south down this road? Uh, yeah, that might be the best bet, because if we get a hook forming on the southwest side of the storm, which it looks like it's already starting to kind of arch around and form a hook, uh, we might be able to catch it as it moves east towards us. Well, let's, uh, let's make it right here. I think uh, the hook... Oh, we got some hail. Small hail. Some hail now. I'm starting to see a clear slot right now. I'm looking up and I see blue sky. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the RFD cut. Yeah, I can definitely see where we're gonna actually start seeing some rotation. So that'll be cool. I think we are starting to get some rotation on the velocity on radar. It's kind of northwest of Hibbing, it looks like. All right, let's uh, stop here on this main road. And yep, there we go. We've got a wall cloud forming. All right, right here seems like the perfect spot to scan. I'm gonna try to get to that road over there and uh, yeah. We should be able right. to deploy. Yeah, I'd say we could probably go down south on this road and catch it. Yeah, I agree with you on that. All right, we got a debris cloud. Tornado uh, is yep, on the ground. We'll be dropping down shortly. Hey, Jay Killen, I'm going to stop. You just keep going so you don't get caught up in this. All right. All right, deploying quickly. Oh, I just got hit by you. That was uh, a little unfortunate. But here we go. I'm deploying. 
and I am getting out of here because I am right next to the tornado. Yeah, it is time to wedge out slightly. Holy hmm. cow, I am really close. Power oh, flash power is right flash. next to Whoa. me. I want to report that to the National Weather Service. Probe is getting some winds. Nothing crazy at the moment. Wind's going up to 86 miles an hour on the probe, and I would call that an intercept. We are now at 95 miles an hour. The more power flashes I see. 110 miles an hour. Very large tornado at this point. Jay Killen, do we want to keep going and try to get another intercept? Uh, yeah, let's try. Um, oh wow, yep. it's actually oh, getting really Yeah, it is widening. Still a pretty tight core though. So Jay Killen, where are we thinking about getting this second intercept? Uh, if we can make it, maybe if we can get to Beltrami 61, which is a road that is uh, west of Trent but it might pass over there before we could get to it. So we might have to go to the next one over, which would be the road that goes north from Prior Lake, which is Hisoda 15. All right, sounds good to me. Yeah, this tornado is definitely growing in size and probably in yeah. strength. Winds on my probe got up to 110. And uh, uh, yeah, it's moving really fast. Uh, Jesse, I'm getting 128 and constantly spiking. All right, let's uh, make a left here. And we should be in the path momentarily. Let's hope the tornado keeps it together. Oh, I got 137, 140. Oh, this is pink TVS now. 145. This thing's violent. Oh, and yeah. multi vortex. Look at that uh, sub vort right there. Oh, there is a PDS tornado warning. Oh, big sub vort behind me. I uh, got 158 miles an hour on my. Oh, I can see one of the vortices. It's oh, wait. Oh, power flash is all the way in Prior Lake. Oh, oh wow. That, yeah. Uh, not Prior Lake. That's Trent. Yeah, and Trent. It's got a pretty yeah. big wind base on it. Oh yeah, we got a lot of vortices dancing around this thing. Yeah, okay, this thing actually has a huge wind field, so we, we gotta be really careful. Oh, 146 yeah. on scan. Jay Kellen, should we I, deploy I, I here? On my probes. Uh, I'd say we need to get up to this intersection, quickly deploy, and then just book it east or north, oh, it either is one. Oh, it's out like crazy right now. Oh my god. I'll probably keep going north, and you quickly just drop a probe somewhere here. Yep, dropping and, now. And um, It was just a yeah. light show. 149 now. All right, probe is deployed. Yeah, the couplet on the radar looks insane. It's got some like almost maxed out values for the uh, yeah. for the gate to gate on it. Wow, that oh, is a massive yeah. tornado. Holy cow. Yeah. Getting 160. Another sub bar. Oh, this is too close for comfort. Oh my God. All right, Jay Killen. I think we should keep going on this road. Maybe go south on 48. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, yeah, if we need to, we can go down south on that road, but we'd have to be quick. All right, let's go. All right, somewhere up here, we should see a road to the right. Uh, I was yeah, going to say that dirt road that might be risky. Yeah, it's going to come right through here nonetheless. I think we should deploy here. This should be yeah. it. Yeah. All right, I'm deploying so the last north like road. Northeast direction. There we go. I was going to say we should go down south because oh, it's Power easy if we can go up. north. Oh, no. But if we go down south, it can't come to us. That's a good point. Look at that. Yeah, there's already some damage on roof shingles even going off. I'm getting out of there. Whoa, 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 I just saw some mobile home get rolled. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. It's actually a tornado emergency now, but really? I assume it's because it's actually kind of near Hazleton. So they probably issued a tornado emergency for that. I gotta get out of here. I think my car's gonna get pulled in a sec. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. Oh my it's god, I gotta right go. For you, tofu. I, I gotta go. It Man, wasn't any place I broke down. That tornado down what there to say? our south is actually massive. It is? Yeah, it is I'll try and huge. Move around. Oh, that barn's getting destroyed. I'm trying to see the silos get torn off. By the way, Jake Hillen, the probe that uh, just went into the tornado um, got winds up to 188 miles an hour. I'm earning tons of money right now. Oh, we just passed Same you. Here. I'm just getting thousands and thousands of dollars of data right now. I actually got a new storm popping up right over Hibbing. Really? Let me take a look. Yep. Do you want to abandon this storm or do you want to keep going on this one? Uh, I'd say we could try and get an intercept, and by the time we get one, maybe that one storm near Hibbing might be matured enough. Sounds good to me. Why don't we go south in 13 and drop there? Yeah. Whoa, I'm getting 166 miles an hour. This thing is still violent. It's just not as big anymore, but I think it's wedging out again. By the way, that tornado's heading up towards Wadena. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Why, it why might is... barely miss it, though. Yeah. If it goes, like, it... north, northeast. I have no idea if it's coming straight at us or if we need to move. It's okay. It looks like it might be heading more northeast. Oh, we got a multiple. Uh, we got a satellite. All right, let's back out of here. Let's actually deploy another probe on this road here. There we go. Look at those trees. They are losing it over there. They're freaking out. This looks like it's going to be a direct intercept on the one just on the 41 sign there. So, yeah, this could be pretty good. And we've got another 
uh, radar indicated tornado down south of Hibbing. I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna go south on that new one because I've been on this northern tornadoes for so long. I think it's weakening. Yeah, 162. Uh, Subboards all around this thing. Yeah, I see the tornado funnel up to the top left there. 175. Oh dang, yeah, that's pretty strong. I am backtracking. The damage looks pretty bad. The the metal transform power transformers are bent sideways. Just got the back end wins. And the highest was uh, 175, so there we go. All right, I think we can uh, move on from here. All right, so we got to head south, Jay Killen, if we want to get to this hook. So maybe we can find a road that leads that way? Uh, yeah. I'd say what we could do, maybe cut down towards west of Viroqua and then just go east on the, uh, the road that goes through Viroqua. We'd have to go on this dirt road that's to our right here, though. Oh, this is going to be really close, Jay Killen, because we are almost underneath this wall cloud at this point. I mean, luckily, if anything was to touch down, it will probably be really weak. So we, yeah. may, so we might be able to just, you know, uh, push through it. Don't think there's... Is there a funnel? Oh, yeah, there's a funnel touching down. I'm trying to find this funnel. Oh, it's right in front of us. Uh, Holy right cow. Above, yeah. I guess we'll make a left and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, luckily it's not super strong yet. So yeah, this allowed us a chance to quickly start going east. Seems I finally awoken from my nap. Yeah, yeah you guys are oblivion, missing huh? a big tornado. Well, yeah, so you probably drop fault, a probe right? somewhere here and then quickly go down south. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Here we go. I'm kind of around yeah, the this, RFD actually winds pretty right pretty big now. already. All right, so that Dorothy's deployed. Um, yeah, there are power flashes everywhere. It is a light show in this town right now. Should we um, make a left or make a right? I'd say make a right, because okay. obviously if it kind of deviates more northward, it'll still be chasing us. But if we go down is... south, then it'll pass to our north, most likely. All right, I'm deploying here. Wow, this tornado is quite literally going into Viroqua. There we go. Yep, she got a pretty strong couplet oh. on it. Red TBS, I'm right behind PBS, it, though. The wind base warning. is very small. You know what, Jay Killen? Why don't mm -hmm. you stay going south? I'm going to go north and try to drop another probe. Unless you want to follow uh, me. Okay. I could probably try and uh, go north as well, because... Obviously, there should be more options to escape up north. Yeah, there's I a believe. lot of places up here. I think there might be a shelter in this town as well. Yeah, so the tornado is now impacting uh, Viroqua. Yep, I'm dropping another probe. Here we go. I'm in a bad spot. I can't really progress forward because the tornado is right in front of me, and my more only road just... towards it is a bridge. All right, let's check the winds here. 150 miles an hour. Yeah, what that is uh, pretty strong. It's pink TBS, so this actually might... Uh... Yeah, it's probably, it's in the EF3 range, uh, then, almost EF4 range if it goes over 165. 180. Yep, so it looks like we're yep. in the EF4 range. All right, let's stop right here. Man, this tornado is quite literally just going oh, right through oh the town. Oh my god, that is a massive debris ball. Dude, this is actually huge. 192, J. Killen. 195. 195? Oh, so, yep, we might actually get a uh, an EF5. Oh my gosh. Oh, All right, we need to go. Just right buildings. We got to get yeah, out of here right now. 196. Oh, starting to get air. Oh go. my gosh. Hold Come on. on. Uh oh. I got you. Come on. Go. You good? Okay, that was really close. I was starting to get pulled Holy in. Holy cow. There was a uh, mobile home going rolled. flying. I'm on the bridge. Mobile home was going flying. I just got rolled. North, get out of here. Yeah. I can't move, guys. I just got my car just got rolled. I'm on the bridge. Oh my gosh. My car stuck. My car stuck. I just got rolled. I, I can't really move out the RFD because my truck uh, is stuck. I'd say we should oh. quickly go this way. Yeah, 214 at this moment. North. Bad news, this is a dead end. 233. Let's turn around. Oh, I got again. Oh my uh, god. I don't know I'm, in the, I'm, in, mm. I'm in the river. Look. Look at the couplet on radar. 267. That is very violent. Oh my gosh. Uh, getting oh my gosh. Oh, getting getting the ball. Dude, I have never seen a couplet like this before. Come on. Oh my god, it's like a it's like a nuclear bomb. It's wanting to pull me in. It's like a mushroom cloud. Okay, I think I managed to just barely escape that. That was actually like really scary. Yeah, and all those oh data was... The RFD killed me. It's a 271 Dude. max right now. Um and it's just sitting in the 200 range on the probe. Yeah, so we clearly uh are going to have an EF5 then. Uh, like yeah. not even just from the winds, but from the damage, because it is coring Viroqua. Oh my god! There gosh. are EF5 damage indicators yeah. in Viroqua. I'm staying on this bridge as, lo uh, as long as I can. Yeah, I think we okay. should be far. Uh, uh, I gotta turn around. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna north. die again, bro. I gotta turn around. This is, I thought it was a good idea, but I, I forgot we're going to night chase with no visibility at all. We are. We should be done our rivalry and team together and work together to help each other out. Yeah, I agree with that and, because and about there's got to be nothing left in the town. And yeah, if there's injuries, if anybody has survived that, 
Yeah. Ragu, I advise probably consider moving at some point. I am holding my ground. We have another tornado on the ground, but uh, I think what? that's an afterthought at this point. Yeah, no, yeah. this is the one we gotta focus on. All right, we are getting a lot of debris oh, right now. I am starting to see the damage. There are bodies everywhere. I see all their health bars. Yikes. Dude, that is not oh, tree. Oh, watch out. I'm slowing down. Oh my god, yeah, the lightning's limit. There are debark trees everywhere. Uh, we gotta wait for, I think we should wait for the sunrise to do a proper assessment. Oh, lightning is flashing, yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh, uh, there are uh, quite literally bodies everywhere. All of yeah, those this lights is worse than the damage, dude. are people. Bodies. All those little Luckily, yellow bars. Luckily, most of them there. are green and yellow. Yeah. So that means that they're not, alive. I'm surprised about that, honestly. Yeah, this is like, Probably the worst damage we've seen. Probably even worse than the Wadena one. Oh yeah, I can I can agree with that now. Uh, the water tower might be the tallest thing left in the town, and it's not wow. even it's half gone. So. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm right. seeing it across the river. Oh my. So by the way, I just raided the uh, first EF5 DI 221 for the Wilmart. I, th I I think this is where the Wilmart used to be, but it's just gone. I can tell you all those apartments, I have never actually seen them slabbed before, but they're all gone. Well, in reality, those those, uh, those duplex apartments, I think they can only get up to 190-something. I see a building over there that looks somewhat intact. Is that the hospital? Uh, I think so. The one that I'm at over here, it's the hospital. I just raided it. Oh, yeah, I see over there. Yeah. So only the interior walls remain basically like most of the buildings basically destroyed like a good portion of it so the path is up by the way the wind field on this thing is massive really the max width is 1.12 miles oh wow <laughs> that is probably one of the largest tornadoes we've seen in 1.20 yeah like just yeah, there are... one mile for the uh just for the funnel itself i think oh my god and including the wind field is about uh, I think it was like 2.6 or something, 2.7. Holy cow. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's actually kind of scary. The least amount of damage I'm able to find is like some of these homes over here, they're not like completely slabbed. They're still just the sill plates. So it's not like swept clean. It's just, you know, the uh, sill plates, the boards that are attached oh, to the anchor bolts. Oh, I see. Bolts, these are still left. That's, I guess, the least amount of damage I could find. Like the least damage. See, building. that's very concerning. All right, so unfortunately, while we were raiding everything, actually just after we finished raiding everything, the game crashed. Now, luckily, we have a screenshot of the path, and I'll put that up on screen. But yeah, Jay Kellen, do you sort of want to explain what we saw in the damage? Yeah, so basically everything was gone. The only remnants were, um, if you look over here, the uh, the green mid-rise building. Uh, that was kind of reduced to its like lower level exterior walls and i was able to rate that 268 uh then the hospital here it basically all the exterior walls were gone and um i was able to rate that 210 and there were some other ef5 di's i can locate for example i think this uh the yeah the uh, fire station over here next to the storm shelter i was able to rate uh i can't remember i think it was like 220 or something it was basically um obviously within the ef5 range um, but yeah, we uh, managed to rate a lot of stuff. I think we were able to get all the buildings. Uh, we managed to get, I assume, most of the poles and stuff and most of the trees. So it was just a really cluttered, like, map of DIs showing, like, the path. Yeah, it definitely was a pretty cluttered path. But in the end, it looked pretty cool seeing all of the indicators in one place so yeah i think that's a good place to end off if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you all next time guys goodbye